Welcome to Wired to Hunt's Whitetail How-To's, where we provide a step-by-step -step tutorial for one important deer hunting task. Today I want to talk about camping on a whitetail hunt. It's really popular to travel and go hunt public land somewhere and target whitetails in a different state. And I love that people are doing that. It's one of the coolest things about whitetails is their availability in a bunch of different states and you can still do a traveling hunt pretty cheap. But what happens with a lot of people is they forget the basic necessities about a hunt like that and they focus on what land am I going to hunt? You know, they pour over their onyx, where are the bucks going to be and sort of secondary is how comfortable are you camping for five, six, seven days in a row? What's your setup like? I'm pretty lucky. I've spent many, many years of my life camping like 40, 50 days a year. And I have a pretty good system down because I know what it's like to be uncomfortable. Like, what do you need to be comfortable and content that week of whitetail hunting out of state? And there's just three things that are always come to mind. Shelter, food, and sleep. We kind of expect to be miserable. And yeah, when you're in the back country, I know I'm gonna be miserable because I can only carry so much food. I can only carry a little two-man tent. It's a different thing. But if you can drive up and park, you don't really need to worry about weight. You can be comfortable. You can be a little bit of a diva if you want. The first thing that I do is I address shelter. If you can get away with using a bigger tent, do that. Small tents suck. I'm to the point now where even if I'm solo, I use a big tent, maybe a six man tent. I can set up my whole system in there. I can have a nice cot, a cooking station if I want it. If I'm hunting and it gets rainy, which happens all the time on those trips, I can hang up some of my camo and dry it out. I can be comfortable in my space. I have room, I can stand up. I'm 6'2", I camped for years in a tent. I had to be hunched over the whole time and it sucks. It's better to be able to just be comfortable. So I always tell people, go bigger tent-wise than you think you're gonna need, because you'll be happy when you do. As far as food, you know, this is a personal one to some extent, but my personal rule is I'm gonna have one good meal a day and I'm gonna make it really easy. So what I do before the hunt, whether I'm going solo or I got two, three, four buddies with me, is I plan out one really good meal a day. It's usually some kind of venison, a bunch of vegetables, maybe some easy to cook rice, and I'll prepackage those and I'll have a bag of it ready to go. And it's got butter, it's got seasoning, it's got everything in there. And so when I get back at the end of the night, I can take one of those, I can dump it right into a saute pan on my little camp stove, and I can have one really nice, nutritious meal per day. Because I know the rest of the day I'm gonna be eating a lot of candy and a lot of sandwiches and stuff that's just not that healthy. When I go on a trip, I don't wanna be running into town to go find a place to have a burger. I don't want that unnecessary stuff. I wanna just be self-contained because it keeps me in the moment better. It's easier to control and you feel better. So that's an important one. Bring food that you really wanna eat that's gonna be good for you for at least one meal. And then lastly, sleep. Sleep is huge in a tent. Even though you're getting up super early to hunt and you know, you're all excited for it, after two, three, four days of early alarms and staying up late, it gets really tough. And it gets really tough if you're not sleeping. And so a good cot is huge. And then the right kind of sleeping pad on it that's actually comfortable is a lifesaver. I bring along a pillow. I bring along a nice sleeping bag. I want to sleep. And I even have a white noise app on my phone that I can turn up if I'm in a noisy campground. I hunted Iowa whitetails a couple years ago and the campground I was in, there were tons of people who were on a big trail ride with their horses and it was constant noise and constant partying and not having a way to kind of drown some of that out would have been really tough. This probably sounds crazy, like I'm into like luxury glamping or something, but really I just like to enjoy my hunts and I know what can go wrong in those three fronts. If you're not in a shelter that you like that gives you some room to work, if you're not eating correctly a little bit each day, and if you're not getting some good sleep, you're not gonna enjoy that hunt that much. You're gonna make worse decisions and I've seen it so many times where people get so excited to go on these trips, four days in, they're done. You know, not having any fun, can't find the deer, not feeling very good. That's the wrong way to go about it. You're out there to enjoy that stuff. And it's a lot easier to enjoy it if you take care of your needs. I know it sounds crazy, but it's, it's really true. If you want more whitetail hunting advice, please listen to the Wired to Hunt podcast and the Wired to Hunt Foundations podcast, and we'll give you everything you needed to hear about deer.